thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I thank you. I think it's pretty obvious what I've done, given by all the scratches and done for. blood on, on me. And Fortune Hinton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? Well... <laughs> So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like then? <laughs> uh, it's alright, I suppose. <laughs> you busy? Yes, of course I am. Uh, lots of building work to be done. That means nails, whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. <laughs> Just immediately jump to the small talk. So... <laughs> What's it like being a blacksmith? Let's let's maybe do the quest things. I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. What are you doing out here, anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Ah, oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. The forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're haunted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely. And that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them. As deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no. I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes, I can help. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... Thank you. All right. Uh, right, right, right. Despite what everyone believes, the blacksmith is not a Puritan. Yeah. How horrible. Uh, well, I'm... You... No, you, you go ahead. I, I have some important Banisher business to do. Oh, more button. You're gonna be hearing that a lot <laughs> these next couple episodes. <laughs> oh, wrong butt. Whoop, wrong butt. Okay, hang on. You, you fucking give me, thank you. Let's lose the corpse of this fucking wolf, goddamn wolves. Alright. Let's see about these haunted tools, eh? Uh, an echo whispering to me. Hang on, hang on. Let me uh, priorities, you understand. Let me get the loot first. Thank you. 
Uh, hang on, let me get the loot first. Priorities, you understand? Don't know what we got, it's fine. Piece of eight. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine. All right. The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flutter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Uh, wait, she was wielding the hammer, dude. The fucking... Uh, what the, what the... Here, haunting cases, this is what I'm looking for. The, the um, Nelly was wielding the hammer when we talked to her, like, five seconds ago. Hint, the saltwater ghost lays claim to the forge and all its tools. Let's see where the back door leads. Adventurous. Well, the things are at least continuing. Oh, hang on, let me sit up straight. Alrighty. We still have, don't have any healing items, by the way, and I think we have like half health. Yeah, well, well we have a quarter health. <laughs> That's great. That's wonderful. Yeah, I, I can totally fight a ghost right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I do I do not fucking remember any of my combos or anything. It's fine. <laughs> oh, look, a campsite. Oh, uh, that was weird. Tessellation just loaded, Fortune I think. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. They who are haunted do odd things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead. I mean, goddamn, like, I think he's... Oh, I'm wrong button. <laughs> I think he's lying and he's a ghost, you know? Uh, uh, no, not he's a ghost. Goddamn, he's haunted. Why can't it be both? But he clearly was lying, I think. Picking up something spectral nearby. Well, I mean, you mean other than the footprints? Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Well, ladies and gents, the story of Red McCraith <laughs> has hereby ended. <laughs> because what the fuck am I supposed to do? Come on, then. Annoying thing is, I can't even properly block. I need to do fucking perfect times. Oh, oh, that was too close. Because if I don't, I'll take chip damage, and I can't afford to take chip damage. And I just took the chip damage again. A health thing. Oh, that's great. I accidentally pressed the wrong button, but it ended up being a good thing. <laughs> I think I used to coat my wolf kills on one hand. Fucking hell. Oh, well, Red McCraith survived another fucking day. Oh boy. Uh, hang on, where the fuck am I? Uh, right, right, right. I wanted to go this way. Did you feel that? It's close. Yep, it's right here. Oh, you can climb up that. Jesus Christ, we're, we have walked so deep into the nothingness, dude. This is like... I still need to explore... Fucking... All of this. This. And we haven't explored a, a thing. We've just fucking walked, dude. Oh, boy. High cave shelter. Oh, that's cool. It's 
It's fine. It's fine. We'll just follow the tracks of this ghost for a sec. And we can explore, I don't know, another time. Like I said, on our way back or something. Oh. Oh, what am I, what am I picking up? The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. No, to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes. That would be a shame. Oh, uh, dude, this is a boss fight. I'm just we saying. We need to look for somewhere to cross. Well, actually, yeah, I got them. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just... What the f What the fuck? Is am I hearing a nest? Oh, wait, am I hearing a nest? That might come in very handy, because it'll restore my health. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, there's cl clearly a leap here. I just need to figure out... Oh. Ah, okay. I figured it out. <laughs> it's right here. Um, I don't know where I have to walk, though, to get the things to line up. Oh, ah, ah, okay, gotcha. Let me fucking mine this first. Alrighty. Find the way down and find the hammer. Sounds easy enough. Probably gonna be a bit more difficult than that, but it's fine. That is still very cool. Uh, let's stay in Antea mode because she can see much more useful things than we can. Never mind, the game throws me out of Antea mode. I said Antea mode, god damn it. Right. I, I guess she can't do any other parkouring things. Thank you, and thank you very much, sir. For the. Mm, actually, a good, a good bit of money, actually. Alright. Uh, oh, we have another health. I don't know where it came from, but goddamn, let's drink it. Alright, we have one almost full health bar. Uh, and uh, that that's it. <laughs> we'll, do our, we'll do our best with what we have. I sense a trap. I'm sorry? I sense an echo. Alright then. Let's trigger the trap. Um, excuse me? What do you mean you sense that? What's the trap? Is is just like progressing with yeah. this mission gonna set set off the trap, or is it something I can be smart about? I don't think it's something I can be smart about. Fuck! Even if it was, I don't know if I could be smart about it. <laughs> Alrighty. Trap. Right. <laughs> Business. Hey, hey, hey! None of that. None of that shit. Change targets. Tormented first. That guy first. You want me to? All right. Reinforcements. Got them. Stop that spectre before it possesses the corpse. I knew it. Hmm. Okay, not the not the cleanest thing around, but also not the uncleanest. Uh, no, let's not go this way. Let's keep on looking around. Yeah, 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 okay, hang on, hang on. That's the hammer. The hammer, not the oh, hammer, right? The hammer, yeah. Uh, anyway. Let's loot, let's loot some stuff first, and then we can initiate 
whatever next fucking event is gonna be initiated once we interact with the hammer. Uh, thank you very much for your leather. The fuck? Oh, oh, wrong button again. What the fuck? How do I? Uh, th th that has ghostly fucking things on it. How would I? How do I go about opening that? Oh, fucking elk! Holy shit! That sound. <laughs> Thank you for the fungus. Oh, wrong button. Okay, let's interact with the hammer. Then maybe, maybe interacting with this will open that up. After all, that is, like, nailed shut, those boards. I don't know if that's a connection. That's Ooh. enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine, and I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. Oh, damn! Oh, damn! Though she immediately resorted to murder. Granted, he threatened her life, but like, god damn, she just went through with it. What do you want to do? Well, and he's immediately loyal to covering up a murder. All right, very cool. Flatter. A worn blacksmith's flatter, wet and shrouded with spectral stains. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost, uh, the essence will be automatically consumed by Anteo to make her strong. Oh, mother birds. Killed a man. With his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. But uh, something tells me his ghost isn't gonna be with his own hammer, yeah. His ghost isn't gonna be very fucking happy about it. <laughs> but sure, uncover the ghost's true identity and make him manifest. Yeah, alright. Should be the right one. We haven't used the ritual to. Uh, summon a scourge yet. I, I don't know what the difference is between a ghost and a scourge. I'm assuming the game will tell Show me. Yourself and join me now. Oh, my. Yeah, oh my Jesus fucking Christ, will you relax? That's the only words you've said like ever. We are the Banishes Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name, all mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our name? blacksmith's a fraud? You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it, and I shall have it back. So, to cover up the murder, the dude just took over his... I, so this is the true fortune? And the one, the dude we talked to just took the name and, you know, the entire life, like, stole the identity? Is, is that what I'm supposed to understand from this? Because that's kind of fucked up, not gonna lie. That night, 
on deck nearly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Erin. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. Hmm. That's not what I saw. Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. Hmm. I've had enough of this. Let's go. So he's just gonna chill here, and his name is now Imposter. Supposedly honorable blacksmith lied. Yeah. The blacksmith Fortune Heaton is an imposter, and the real fortune... Lays claim to the name. Back from his watery grave, the ghost of Fortune Eaton wants revenge on Nelly and the man who took his place. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't gonna have a happy ending. Oh shit, here. Aboard ship, when Nelly was threatened by a man with a hammer, the blacksmith protected her. So. That's why it saved the marriage. Hers and the real Fortune's marriage was pretty shitty, to put it mildly. But they were still coming to New Eden together. They were on the boat currently to New Eden when that went down. In walks in our Mr. Mr. Sus, Mr. Sussman, imposter. He sees her kill her husband and assumes his identity. That's why their marriage was saved. Because now their marriage is, of course, going well, because those two are actually, I don't know, having a good marriage, I suppose. At least before the haunting. Optional, rest at the high cave shelter. Why? Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. You're the bastard. The murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. Yeah, why would I... Hang on, hang on. Optional rest? Why would I go rest at the shelter if... If I could just, like... Not. You know, like, why is that a specific fucking thing? Because it seems to me like, like I, I I forget if this game has mechanics like that, but it seems to me like maybe something might happen while we're resting. You know what I mean? Like time passes. Whoa. Ooh. Damage dealt by red is increased up to forty percent. The lower the spirit. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. It. Okay. This, okay, that's actually. Pretty But it gets it lowers pretty much our everything except for our dexterity, but it's also not upgraded. But let's switch to it. Bane ring. Yeah, we can have different decoctions. That's interesting. Okay. Uh. So dark in here. Okay. Let's, I don't know, yeah, let's use the new ring, maybe, because it seems cool. It, it fucking uh, rewards playing as Antea and, and using all her attacks and then switching to red. So maybe that's something we can try. Oh, boy. 
Do I? I do not have. All right, we have a third, or no, three quarters of our health and no heals. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna go rest at the shelter. Why not? Travel. Ah, there's a shelter nearby. By reaching it, you may travel toward another shelter to get to your destination faster. Okay. You can recognize the shelter by the red flag and smoke on the entry. Cool. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's why it wants me to go here to give me the tutorial message of fast traveling. Uh, in that case, we're actually going to use it too, the fast travel Friends feature. And the campfire. Just what Dr. Duarte ordered. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Um, sorry. Uh. Huh? I don't. All right, all right, all right. All right I'll, I'm sure. Maps we'll... don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. Well, I mean, definitely something will await us, but let's fucking rest first. And see about our level ups if we have any, but probably don't. Okay, now it's activated. Now we can actually sit down. Sit down and rest here. Inventory. So if I upgrade you, it doesn't really cost much, so might might as well go for it. So I upgraded you. What's the stat? Well, this one is still better in wisdom. I don't know what wisdom does. Vitality, persistence, health goes up, and our actual, actual spirit mirror goes up. But the effect of this one, it increases red's damage by up to 40%. So the lower the spirit gauge, the more damage we do, up to 40%. It's actually pretty cool. So let's stick with that. Right, now I don't think we have anything else that we can do otherwise. Uh, no, no, we don't have any level ups. Hang on, what are my actual abilities right now? Each enemy hit by a light attack increases the light damage. Oh, this effect can, can be... Okay, so the, the more light attacks I do without getting hit, the better. The assault, yes, I've remembered that I have that. Uh, parrying or sword spirit points. Well, that's actually not beneficial with the ring we have equipped right now because it would mean that the more we parry, the less damage we'll do. Um, but I guess the more we can switch to Antera and do some business there, so that's fine. Perfect switch. Yeah, I haven't used that at all. Uh, but maybe I should. Kindred, right. Right, right, right. We have that. Okay. So not, not, actually not that much. And the leap, which I, maybe I should use. That should end me dealing a small amount of damage. Dealing a small amount of damage? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's just useful to close distances. Uh, yes, I'm sure I want to rest. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Sorry. Right, give me my health back. Maybe this time I'll not fucking press the wrong button constantly. <laughs> Alright. And now I can fast travel back to our hunter's camp. Th that means we still have to explore the entirety of this. I think this might be where the treasure map was, is it? Like it would be here then? Unless it's somewhere else. Might be here too. God, I don't know. Um, alright. That means we're gonna fast travel back. But, lost chest. Unless it was that and we already found it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, we're gonna travel back, but we're gonna do it next time. And we still have this entire place to explore, but we'll also do that, um, well, another time. Uh, but yeah, for now, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all next time. Auf Wiedersehen.